another athlete who has been near the top of the world championship, at least in the last three years. He was, on, I think, on the podium in the teens in 2021. This is his second year of elite that he just completed. Still looking for his first world championship, but could get a huge notch in his belt by winning Premier Series today. Absolutely right, Alex. And if you're ever looking for some inspiration for Ninja, then just go check out this guy's social medias because he is doing some of the most insane things on the planet with this sport as he now gears up for the Aussie Grips where his fellow training partner, Tyler Smith, just came out. Looking good on the first one, Alex. This is almost a purpose-built for Phil Cole. Some obstacle... <laughs> Alternatively, we've been waiting all weekend for somebody to skip that last yo-yo, and why wouldn't it be Phil Folsom, you know? Why wouldn't it be? He's yeah, the okay. inventor. Yep. One more look at this incredibly fast run. Phil Folsom's going to be the anchor leg in this challenge course. Just taking the hit here. He's happy with it, and he secures himself that top spot coming into that challenge course, which is going to be so powerful. You can see on his shirt, Phil Send, and if anyone knows weird techie obstacles, it's, it's this man. Three, two, one, go. Folsom, at just 16 years old, has already done so much in this sport looking Clear. to add Premier Series champion to his already loaded resume. I'm not sure if you guys... Oh, it looks like we lost Jack, but I will take care of you in the interim. Phil, making quick work of those incline cliffs, and I'm going to take a stab in the dark and... What? Three, two, one, go. Okay, so I'm not sure what the ruling is going to be here. Something no, he went haywire. We'll have to check down on the floor exactly what that was, but Phil Folsom effortlessly through the vertical limit, just like we knew he could. We'll have to give him an extra punch there. Ooh, careful, though. A little bit of a slip on the spider walk. Able to get through. So I'm not sure if he needs, or if he's already lost one retry or not. Huge kick. I'm almost a little surprised he didn't link there, to be honest. But makes the jump onto the second squirrel. And Alex, this is looking to be an exceptional run so far all throughout. I mean, Phil Folsom just really putting on a dominant performance. So I'm being told Phil overshot the platform. Remember, that's the start of the pre... Okay, he gets the he gets the grab. Will he do the magic trick, or is he going straight for the bullseye? It looks like he's going to go straight for the bullseye here, Alex. And he's got it. He gets it. Going to drop down from the top, unless he shimmies down. No, he is going to shimmy down. Smart move into that hammer. And just to recap what happened on the incline cliffs, he overshot the landing platform, meaning he used up one of his retries on the cliffhanger. So he is down a retry. But, but if Phil I can trust any human Alex. being to do a batarang in one shot, it's Phil Folsom. And here it comes. Well, I think, he's, I think he's going to. I don't think he has much of a choice here. But with a minute 19 on the clock, there is potential to turn this into a winning run here as he gears Ooh, up and is looking strong, Alex. He caught the very edge of that batarang. He needs to do it again, and this time he's dead center. Looking super smooth so far as we now come into just the back end of this obstacle. It shouldn't be too much trouble for him. Of course, this dismount here is always a difficulty, but not for Phil Folsom, one of the best of the best. And now that time, just like Tyler Smith, going to come into play, we know that it's going to be Tyler and Phil 1 and 2. We just don't know the order. With 40 seconds left, he's going for some chalk on the red tubes. Probably should try to get through this as quickly as possible. Yeah, it's so I think really going to come down to the Y here. Yeah, I'm not actually sure how much time Tyler had left when he dismounted here. So it's going to be close, but could Phil Folsom become the first person full stop to beat the VCR? Have to slide it forward and then drop down to that ledge. Not able Ooh. to do it. Uncharacteristic for Phil Folsom. 
but he will get a second attempt. He's used up his reflexes. And with 11 seconds on the clock, he might have to do what we just saw Tyler Smith do earlier, which is go for that massive lache. We'll have to see what's in the tank. That is what he's going like to do. Go Bonk his head, it actually slid out on him. And folks, that is why they weren't going for the skip the first time. 305 through to the last obstacle. We will have to see if that was faster than Tyler Smith. One of these two is going to take it home. We just don't know which. No, you love to see it. And what we're going to see very soon after this incredible replay of such a great run is the crowning of this elite division. Who is going to take it out, Tyler Smith or Phil Folsom? We're about to find out in just a moment here.